like to thank you very much for coming out today. On behalf of all the staff here and myself, we appreciate you standing up for the CWB and uh, standing up for to the government. And so thank you very much for that. You know, like this should send a message uh, to uh, Minister Stroll, but I thought last week's election would also send a message, but that was not the case. So I hope this uh, helps in this whole uh, situation. Uh, I want you to know that there's 400 plus people that work in this organization and across the prairies for you, and they're working very hard through some very, very difficult periods because we are under attack by the federal government. And I'm very proud of them. They're doing what they need to do, and they don't want to let you down, and they won't let you down. I know that I've received a lot of publicity recently, but this issue is not about me. This is about farmers being able to control their marketing agency and direct that marketing agency. And I, I find it incredible the lack of respect that the minister has for this former elected board of directors. Not enough respect to have engagement with this board, dialogue with the board, and chart a future vision for the organization. Not enough respect to even tell the chair of the board of directors he's replacing directors on the board and replacing their CEO. And not enough respect to allow the final elected board of directors to go out into the country and speak freely with farmers without the threat of legal action. And I find it incredible that I've been asked to follow the course laid out by the government of Canada, which is not the law of Canada. And if I continue to follow the laws of Canada and to continue to follow the direction given to me by the former elected board of directors, then I will be terminated. Okay. And I find it incredible that this government continues to make arguments that were in place 10 to 15 years ago and won't accept the fact that this organization is run by farmers, this organization has changed and those arguments are no longer relevant in today's marketplace. So, I, a few minutes ago, actually before coming down here, did fax my letter to Minister Stroll, uh, as uh, today was the uh, deadline for that. Well, I'm not releasing that letter now. I would like to say there was two messages in the letter. The first was, based on my 32 years of experience in the grain industry, and based on the direction given to me by the former elected board of directors, I will continue to support the single gas marketing of Grand Grand. And the second was to let the former elected board of directors run this organization. I've done a tremendous job and let them continue. Yeah.